when Operation Charlie came into place on March 16th, I was worried. Um, selfishly, I knew that I was going to miss the community and the support being at this. It's really, it's, it's a nest, it's the nest feeling. But, you know, massive, massive worry was, you know, we do so much for our learners and refugees and asylum seekers are vulnerable at the best of times. What are they going to do when they can't access our services? Um, we're a student organisation and to be honest I didn't really think that we would be able to address all of the issues that our learners were facing at the time and continue to face. I had clearly forgotten what I had spent the last two and a half years of my life in, which is an organisation that always does more than anybody could ever believe, it, even the ones involved in it. Um, despite having to do exams, coursework, dissertations, missing friends and family, we're adapting to this new normal ourselves, despite all of that, we rolled up our sleeves and we got to work. We contacted our learners to check on their well-being and we made sure that they understood the new lockdown rules. We set up the socials and we've been constantly looking for new ways to support both the learners and the volunteers. It has been stressful, it's taken up a lot of time. Um, been amazing. Um, I, I never expected in a time with you know the physical distance between ourselves to feel such a sense of purpose and belonging. I felt that friendship, I felt that gratitude and I'm so proud of everyone at Nest. We have proven what is possible when a group of young, diverse people come together with a greater good in mind. We have and we will continue to break barriers, exceed expectations and lead the way in supporting refugees and asylum seekers. We will go that extra mile. We will always be there for each other. Because we're a family.